I told you we were going to try to carve something that um, would um, have the um, the guy taking the pictures, the photographer, to take a picture of someone. I thought it would be like a little scene or something, and I thought, well, let's 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 try a guy holding uh, a little a prisoner, say a prisoner. You know when they they book you they um, uh, put your sign in your hand in other words your number and um, anyway that's what we're going to do here uh, and I want the, the hands to come out this far in other words holding a sign and I'll, uh, I'll get the sign and put it in his hand but we're, that's what we're going to do I thought that would Rather than just have just a photographer sitting there or doing there, we would uh, do this. So, this is what we're going to do. And um, the first thing I want to do, I just cut him out, is I want to go ahead and separate the hands here for just a minute. I want to separate that. Okay, now let's just go ahead and um, let's go ahead and draw. It's going to, the um, arm will come like this, in other words, on both sides. It, it'll come like that, in other words. Basically, the arms will come like that. And then the head will, uh, I'm going to try to carve a little gronzy looking dude. And, uh, um, we've had a lot of rain so I'm outside right now but if it starts raining I'll have to move inside um, we've been just having a lot of rain we've been having some cold fronts Coming through here. Can't afford to get my camera wet. But it's turning cooler here in Texas where I live. It doesn't turn that cool. We don't have heavy winters at all. I mean we we've never had below zero weather down here. And um Okay. And let's go ahead and separate our head a little bit from our body. Um, I hope everybody is glad the elections are over with. I know I am. <clears throat> I don't talk a lot about politics when I carve. Everybody has a right to who they want to believe and stuff. I mean, I, I, I hear enough of it on Facebook, and I comment on some things on Facebook. Um, <clears throat> I guess the greatest thing that I just wish would come back to this world is not so much politics. Because, because a person is a politician, for some reason, we believe that they're smart, and that's not always the case. I just want common sense to come back. I tell you... Uh, my dad had a lot of common sense. Of course, my dad went through a lot in life. He went through being a Japanese prisoner of war four years. And he understood life. He understood a lot of things about life. And um, so, to me, just common sense is, 
is what we need in this world and they have a <clears throat> a young lady who just won um, <clears throat> a young lady who just won um, one of the elections I think it was up in New York New Jersey one place like that and uh, I listened to this lady this young lady talk one time and um, she was calling for free stuff for everybody you know free health care free schooling free college a guaranteed income things like that you know and I just I hate to say it but I was just <clears throat> I was just dumbfounded when I was sitting there listening to this and she got elected and I'm just and I mean that's all nice I would love for everybody to have that but folks <laughs> we just can't I mean you know where's the money gonna come from um, money doesn't grow on trees and I always, all my life, uh, ever since I was 15 years old, I've had to work for everything I've had. And uh, I, I, I guess I'm different, but I, I believe we should all have to work for whatever we have. I didn't make, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't able to retire because I sat on my behind all my life and expected somebody to give it to me. I had to go and work. And uh, even in retirement, it's hard, you know. But I worked all my life. I've been working probably since I was 15, and I'm 66 now. So, I mean, I've been retired just a few years. So I've worked probably close to 50 years of my life. And I just, no one's given me anything. In fact, I've lost a lot in my life through a lot of things. Um, I even lost my home. But I, I surely, and, and that's, that's a good example, I just lost my home. To Harvey and I don't expect people to come in and give me the money to uh, I expect my insurance company yeah because I, I've been paying them but I don't expect anyone to come in and say okay well I'm just gonna give you another house that's not gonna happen folks it's just not gonna happen and I don't expect it to happen so I guess I'm just a different person maybe I'm very very different but this and this is not politics folks this is just common sense no one ever since I've been out of my house almost a year now and I'm fighting with my insurance company and no one has yet has come by and said Gene we're gonna give you this house <laughs> and I don't expect it I know it's, it, it's a kind gesture someone uh, uh, did but I'm just saying I don't expect that kind of stuff because because I've always had to make it on my own and um, to me my daddy taught my father taught me one thing that um, that when you work you have a sense of accomplishment when you don't work you feel that everything should be given to you so my dad was a pretty wise man he really was and a lot of things. Now, if you don't agree with that, that's all right, but I'm just saying that I was never given anything and I don't expect to have to give everything I own to someone else. I mean, I pay enough taxes. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty weird that, um, you know, I pay taxes all my life uh, on everything I made. And now on my pension, I'm paying taxes. My Social Security, I'm paying taxes that I paid in. And uh, my 401k, if I get any money out of it, I pay taxes on that. So I'm just telling you that uh, it's, it's nice. It would be wonderful if we all had the money to give each other everything. But unfortunately, we just don't. You have to go out and you have to work for it. I was a union representative for... Uh, for 20 years I was a union rep I dealt with a lot of negotiations and things like that and I tell you what the companies are not going to give you what you want you're going to have to fight for it but I don't expect them to give me everything I want we had to fight for it we had to we had to do what was necessary and sometimes we even had to give up things to get things and that was part of it. 
So I learned that a whole lot in my life. Okay. And this is not a history lesson, folks. This is just common sense. Lord, this is... I think about my dad, and he was not a rich man. We were not rich. and He worked all his life, and he went through a prison camp in World War II, and you know, life wasn't real fair to my father. But I never saw my father ever, ever ask anyone to give him anything for nothing. Never. And... Uh, he just told us if you didn't have the money, you just didn't, you didn't get it. That was as simple as that. But I guess things are changing today. And I'm not saying for the best either. It's like, it's kind of like learning the car, folks. You're not going to learn the car as long as you just sit there and say, I'm going to do it. Or, you know, I can't give you the ability. It's like this right here. I can't give you the ability to learn to carve. You have to watch what I'm doing. And you have to go and do it yourself. That's all there is to it. That's what life is about. You have to do some things on your own. And uh, I simply give you the idea. Now, a lot of you go on to become carvers that make me look bad. <laughs> but... You got to do it yourself. You can't expect somebody to just come and give it to you. I remember a young man one time called me and he said, I'd like to be a carver just like you. He said, how long do you think that would take? Well, I said, well, I've been carving 25 years. He said, well, how long do you think it would take me? Well, I said, to get real good, it may take you 25 years like it's taken me. And I don't consider myself that good anyway. And he hung up, so. <laughs> we just, sorry folks. Sometimes you have to work at something. I know I did. I didn't learn this overnight. And I had to learn from other people who were experienced and knew what they were doing. That's just a part of life. You wanna learn something, sometimes you have to spend time with other people. I'm lucky enough to be able to spend time with you now and help you learn a little bit to have fun carving. But um, a lot of people have approached me and asked me about carving for a living. And uh, I'm not going to keep anyone from carving for a living, but it's a very difficult thing to do to make a living. Um, most people that carve for a living do other things they teach they do other stuff like that so it's 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 a difficult thing to to be a carver for a living to make carvings for a living it just is okay now if you've seen me you just kind of you've seen this before with me i've just rounded this off and stuff like that um and just sort of shaping up the legs and things like that uh, you know things like that just but I wanted to have something that the uh, the guy taking the picture could 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 be taking a picture of you know it just didn't make any sense to have a guy taking photographs and not have somebody's photographing and uh, and I'm retired and I tell you the truth I still work <laughs> I have a 91 year old mother that is really incapable of taking care of herself so I have to be with her to help take care of her so um, we all do that we all spend our time working and uh, I don't think you ever really stop working in life retirement is not simply a, a thing to say well I'm, I'm not going to be working anymore because you know you 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 do work all right, let's go ahead and draw this right here. Um, and let's kind of cut that where the... Uh, oh man, I got a dog next door. He is yelping. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. He's mad at something. Mad at the world, I guess. 
No, I don't like to get into politics too much. Uh, all I'm trying to do is get into common sense. And like I said, my dad taught me no one was going to give me anything in life. And um, I remember when I turned 18 years old, and we're just carving this right here. Uh, my dad told me there was an apartment over by my grandmother's, a garage apartment. And um, he said, you know, you really need to think about it. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, Dad, I'll think about whether I want to move there or not. And he kind of said, no, son, you don't understand. <laughs> it's time for you to get out and learn your own self. And the best thing never happened to me. It really did, because it, it taught me that I was not going to get something for nothing. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting something free. I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that this world's not going to do that to you. It, ain't gonna get, it never gave me nothing free. I don't know. Just like learning the car, folks. You don't you don't get it for free. You don't just all of a sudden wake up one day and it's there. You have to work at it. You have to do some things to um, to learn. But when you do those things and you get them done, I remember when I first started carving and the first project I ever finished. Oh, it was, I was so happy in myself. It wasn't, didn't look, didn't look worth a flip, but I was so happy because I thought, well, I've accomplished something in life. And you're never going to learn to accomplish nothing as long as you depend on somebody else to do it for you. Okay. Okay, now one of the things we want to do is we want to open this up in here which will require us to take our knife and very gradually begin to work this out, okay? Uh, I, I look back at my, some of my first carvings I ever did and they were terrible. The heads were not shaped the way they would and that's why I want to help people because back then we didn't have any carving videos. We didn't have anything that could really teach us how to do it you had the and not too many clubs and stuff when i started you know 30 years ago so um but now you have that and i'm i'm happy that we can help people learn because i do believe that a, a picture's worth a thousand words and to help people learn and enjoy themselves Okay, see that? Kind of opening it up in there. Picture's worth a thousand words. And it does, it helps us to learn. And um, never be ashamed of learning, folks. Most of you carvers are older men. I don't really have to even tell you this. You know, most of you have not gotten a free ride in your life. <laughs> most, most of you men and women have worked hard to accomplish what you've done. And uh, I tell you, it's not, you know, and a lot of people go, well, I'm talking about farmers and everybody that's, that's done, you know, nobody gave them anything. And when I was growing up, we just didn't, we just, uh, I remember I, I never went to my prom because I didn't have the money, but it didn't disappoint me because the simple fact was I just didn't have the money. I wasn't going to ask my mom and dad for it. And um, just didn't have it, which was okay. You know, I didn't, I didn't die because of it. <laughs> I didn't. And that's what call, I call common sense. Common sense is just realizing that the world is not going to give you anything. Unfortunately, a lot of people in the world today have not found that out or refuse to accept that. We just can't, you can't just give people things because the more you give them, the more they expect it. I learned that the hard way. 
I um, helped a lady one time, or I'm not going to say who it is, and, and I gave her money and helped her. Uh, she was complaining that she didn't have enough money for her bills and stuff, and and that's fine. I mean, I'm 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 happy and proud I did. But then I found out later she wasn't even using the money for bills. She was spending it on, on uh, she, well, she was a close friend, uh, uh, family friend. No, she was family is what she was. And she was using it uh, to buy her things, not pay her bills. And she skipped out on her bills. And I learned real quick there are just people sometimes that you know, you can't trust them. Okay. Now. We're just going to kind of do this. Like I said, this is just an extra figure that we're, we're doing so that we can, um, we can, um, add to this little scene with our, uh, our, um, Photographer. It was a lot of fun carving him. It was something a little different. I never carved um, something like that. I've been. I appreciate Bill Higginbotham for his um, wonderful little figures in his books. They've been a lot of fun to carve. I don't see just like me here. I'm carving the the arms um, onto the the figure. That's just the way I do it. It's, it doesn't mean you have to do it that way, but it's the way I like to do it. And just because I like it doesn't mean it's the right way, but it's it's the way most carvers do. Most carvers carve their arms and stuff with, but it certainly doesn't mean you can't. It doesn't mean we're right and they're wrong. One of the arguments that's been going on for many years is people that power carve and people that hand carve. You know, a lot of people, oh, you're cheating if you power carve. Look, the end product to me is the, is the main thing. If you're a power carver and you carve a pretty carving, I don't care how you did it. I just think you did it right, okay? All right, now let's look um, at our piece, okay? We need to take some more off in here.